What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Amazon video. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing is the work-life balance at Amazon good? Before we get started, join my Discord, follow me on social media. That's all I'm going to plug. Let's get straight into the video. So admittedly, the work-life balance will depend on your schedule at Amazon. So we offer a lot of different schedules at Amazon, but the main, the two main ones are three days, 12 hours each shift, and then four shifts per week, 10 hours per shift. So those are the two main ones, but we also do offer a more rare one, which is eight hours, five days a week, eight hour shifts. That one is a little bit less common. And then another one that we do offer is just a part-time on the weekends, two days, 10 hours each day. We also offer that one as well. And then there is a couple of other ones we offer. We offer flex where you get to literally pick your own schedule. And then we also offer like three or four days a week, four hour shifts each day. We also offer that one. So there's a lot of options available at Amazon. And when you are applying for Amazon, you get to choose which one there is. As long as they are all available at your location, there will be plenty of options for you to choose. So it's already a really, really great start that you were able to choose such a flexible schedule. We literally have something called flex where you get to choose your own schedule. And overall, it's really, really great. I really, really do enjoy how the scheduling works at Amazon. But now let's get on to the work-life balance. So first, I'm going to speak about my own shift. I work the four days a week, 10 hour shifts, which to me should be the new normal in the States here in America. Like I definitely do think that we should start moving away from this five days, eight hour shifts. I definitely do think that we should start moving away from that because from someone who's worked that and someone who's now worked at Amazon for over a year and has worked four days, 10 hours, I really, really prefer going in for 10 hours busting my ass for 10 hours and getting through within four days and having a three-day weekend every single week. I much more enjoy that than regular five days, eight hours. I would definitely take this. It's, you're saving a lot of gas money. You're getting a three-day weekend every weekend, which is freaking awesome. And overall, it's really, really great. In my opinion, the work-life balance with my current schedule is amazing. If you are one of the people who works the four days, 10 hour shifts, you're most likely getting a really, really nice work-life balance. And why I say that is because I have time to do these YouTube videos. I have time to work for Uber Eats. So that's two different part-time jobs that I'm working. YouTube and Uber Eats, I work Amazon on the side, and I also still get time to hang out with family if I wanna you know, slow down on my YouTube content. I'm usually really, really busy with YouTube, so I don't get too much time with friends and family, but if I really, really wanted to, and if I wasn't doing YouTube, I could hang out with them two or three days out of the week, which is incredible because back when I was working five days, eight hour shifts, I would only get Saturday to do that because Sunday you just want to relax. With four days, 10 hours, you get two days to hang out with friends or do whatever you want, maybe even three, and then you'll always have that third day to just relax and just chill, you know, rest up well for the next day, for the next shift that you have. And it is incredible. In my opinion, working at Amazon, it has been so amazing. The work-life balance is incredible. I'm able to run this YouTube channel. I make money off this YouTube channel and I make money off for Uber Eats. So it gives me a lot of time to also do side projects, which is incredible. No other job that I've worked before full time has allowed me to do this where I have side projects on the side and I'm making money from those and I'm enjoying those. Those are my passion projects. And then I have my regular full time job, which I spend four days at, which is not a lot for the week. So in my opinion, for my shift specifically, it is incredible. The work-life balance is seriously insane. I love it so, so much. But now let's get onto some other shifts. And I'll talk about the other main one, which is three days, 12 hours. I mean, that's less days, that's less hours and less days than mine. So I can only imagine the work-life balance for them being even better. And then we get on to the other ones like Flex, where you are picking your schedule week by week. You get to pick every single day that you work on your terms. So of course, that's gonna be another really good schedule there. And then we get on to one of the last ones that I mentioned, which is five days, eight hours. I talked about this earlier. I definitely do not prefer this one at all. I've worked this before at previous full-time jobs and it really, really sucks. Simply because you're working for five days, that means you get two days off in the week. That means you only get one or maybe even half of those days to go hang out with somebody. And then the other day, you're either focused on resting, cleaning the house, getting your groceries, getting your laundry done, all that stuff. So pretty much one full day, you can knock that off. You only have one free day. And so during that day, that's the only time you get to hang out with somebody or do whatever side projects. Like I wouldn't be able to balance this YouTube Uber Eats and Amazon Life as well if it wasn't for having three days off or at least two days off. Now I'm only getting one day off if you're working five days, eight hours. It's honestly not that great. And I know this is the normal in America here. It is pretty normal. These are the standard shifts, like everyone that you know who works a full-time job works these. Thankfully, I know that the 410s are becoming more normal, but the usual standard normal base shift in America is 5.8s 
which is in my opinion trash and i definitely do think that we should move away from this i definitely think that a lot of jobs should start to move away from this i think more people would be happy if they're just working 10 hour shifts for four days and then going home for three days straight it's incredible definitely more preferred i do not like the five eights in my opinion and again like i was saying i wouldn't be able to balance all of the stuff that i do if i did work that shift yeah i'd have more time when i get home which is nice admittedly it's nicer to have more time when you get home because with these four tens, I only have like an hour to do something at home and then I gotta start getting ready to go to bed. So that does suck, but the three days are worth it. The two days, even though you do get like an extra two or three hours at home, it's not worth it for me in my opinion. I do not like these five eights. Now granted, these are really, really rare at Amazon. Like not a lot of Amazon locations offer these and the ones that do, they're still less common than others. I definitely do think that there's not a good work-life balance when you're working five eights in my opinion. If I worked five eights at Amazon, I think I would be a lot more stressed. I don't think I would be as happy as I am. I think that it, it wouldn't help me do what I want to do outside of work and overall it would really, really suck. So, so in my opinion, these five eights suck and I definitely wouldn't recommend picking up that shift if you do not already work at Amazon. I definitely wouldn't recommend picking up the shift because in that sense, your work-life balance would be killed. Another thing that I do want to mention is MET, especially during peak season right now. For those who don't know what peak season is, it is the last two months at a, in the year at Amazon. The busiest time of the year, it gets super, super hectic during peak season. It is extremely busy. We are constantly working MET, which is mandatory extra time or overtime at other jobs. And if you are working the five eights, then you're working six days a week. You're working six days, eight hour shifts, which would be horrible. Now, if you're working the other shifts, like let's say you're working three twelves, they'll then put you on four twelves, which does really, really suck, but at least you're still getting three days off. So that's not horrible. And then if you're working my schedule, four tens, I won't lie. Once we get that MET, and especially during peak season, your work life balance kind of turns into the five eights, but even worse. So in my opinion, I do think that when it's like the last two months of the year and we're in pink season, I won't lie, the work-life balance at Amazon does kind of suck. So you do have to worry about peak season. And just know that if you don't already work at Amazon, during peak season when it gets really, really busy and hectic and we're, and we're working a lot of overtime, it does suck. The work-life balance does decrease, especially if you're on 410s like me, you know, we're working an hour onto extra shifts every single day and then we're getting 11 or 10 hours and a whole extra day of 11 or 10 hours. So we're working like 50 something hours per week. It really does deteriorate your work-life balance and it starts to make it a lot worse. I won't lie, MET does hurt the work-life balance at Amazon for most shifts but for some of them like if you're doing like the two days 10 hour shifts you'll get four days 10 hour shifts which becomes a regular full-time job you can get out of met if you are in school or something like that so definitely do tell amazon that you are in school if you are going to be studying in college or anything like that otherwise you will have to work the met and like i said met does suck it does ruin the work-life balance so i would say at any point in time it's all up to amazon's needs and your site's needs but when we do get met especially during peak the work-life balance does suck a lot and you are working a lot but i think at a lot of jobs this happens where you have to work overtime so this isn't just something strictly for amazon so yeah during met during peak during prime day during prime week your work-life balance does start to suck a lot but again that's only like two maybe three or four months out of the year if it gets really really busy at your site like my site this year did get really really busy in the middle of the year for about three months and then we're getting peak busy so that's five months total so that's almost half of the year spent in met but the other seven months of the year have been completely fine super good work-life balance been able to work on my channel been able to balance everything out and it's been really really nice so overall is the work-life balance good at Amazon? Yes, I definitely do think so. And if you work at Amazon, let me know down in the comments below what you think about this. Do you agree? Do you also think the work-life balance is awesome? Because in my opinion, it is. I graduated college while I was on Amazon. I do YouTube, I do other jobs on the side. I get to focus on passion projects and hang out with family when I want to, family or friends, whatever I want to do. I get a lot of time off for that. Again, the only downside is those two months of the year, November and December, when you have to work on thanksgiving you might not get christmas off during those times it does suck the work-life balance does suck a lot but if you save your time off during the year you'll be able to basically work a regular schedule that's what i plan on doing during peak this season i have saved a lot of time this year and i plan to use my time off during peak so that i get a regular four tens except for some weeks if they're offering double overtime pay then i will definitely work those days but 
Overall, it's not that bad. I definitely think that the Amazon has a really good work-life balance and let me know down in the comments below what you think about this. If you're thinking about working at Amazon and you just watched this video, what do you think now? Do you think that you'll possibly be applying? Let me know down in the comments below. With that being said, I'm gonna end that there, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you don't already subscribe, subscribe to this channel, leave a like, go ahead and follow my social down below, join my Discord if you have any sort of questions or anything like that. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Love you all.